Hello, I'm Douglas Maddy and welcome to Altered Perceptions. In these videos, we're going to be looking at the performances from the TV show Pen and Tellers Fool Us. I'm a magician with over 25 years of experience and I'm going to be watching these episodes alongside various guests so that we can get the perspective from an audience member's point of view as well. So, Felicity, have you ever seen any magic before? No. Well, I performed at your child's birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't magic. magic. That wasn't magic. magic. That wasn't real tricks. <laughs> See, this is where wizards and magicians uh, come into play. Yes, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, thank you, because my website is called Memorable Moments of Magic. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you like magic? Yeah. Yeah, what do you like about it? takes you back to I think childhood you know where the sort of make believe mm. you believe again yeah believe in what tricks sort of like just to make believe like wow you know you sort of like not you've not got that sort of adult head on you're like oh my gosh it happened mm. are there any you magicians know? that you like or are there I sort of Uri like Geller. you like Uri Geller yeah. right so what is it you like about Uri Geller I like him I don't ever see that cheesy factor with him. Really? No, I don't. No. So you would say he's a magician because he said for several years that he's not a magician, that what he's doing mm -hmm. is real. Mm -hmm. Do you believe what he's doing is real? What, like when he's bending a spoon, do, do you think he's real? I do, I do, I do. You think he's really doing yeah. it? Even though, but even so though you think what, he's a magician? Have you watched Carrie? Yes. Yeah, I just think it's similar to that. Okay, so you think there's like real telekinesis mm -hmm. that exists? So we've got Gazzo. Show time. My name's Gazzo. I'm a ski entertainer. I told you to stop stalking me. Why do you do it? I get enjoyment out of performing magic on the streets for people that could not afford to see me if I was famous. That's why I do it. Every time I see that man, he's with a different woman. Yeah. <laughs> Describe my style of magic. It would be very controversial in your face. Even that. Wide boy, uh, market atmosphere. So he's going to come on the show and he's going to do a trick and it's got a full pen and teller. It doesn't matter if it's entertaining, it doesn't matter if it's funny, it doesn't matter if it's... I think he's going to do it. But you think he's going to do it? Mm. Why do you think he's going to do it? What I've watched so far, he's like amazing. Really? Yeah. I I, I, no? Uh, mind you, I've seen a lot of magic tricks, so... I say on my show that Tom Cruise is not really a samurai warrior or a secret agent and Anthony Hopkins does not really eat people. I'm not a <laughs> mean person, it's just the way my character is when I perform. Is he drunk? Okay. Watch so closely all the time and I can't see these things. I do apologise. Thank you. Is that your wife or are you on a business trip? Thank you. Is that your wife or are you on a business trip? Right, I know a little bit about Gazzo. He's famous for the cups and balls. All right, he's English. Yes. Well, we yeah. need Vegas when we got this, right? I'm going to watch so closely. Hello, Mr. Penn and Mr. Teller. How are you? What I'm going to do is my rendition of the oldest trick in the world. Here it is, the classic cups and balls. Ball number one. Disappeared. <laughs> do you like that? I'm watching closely. How? I'm just so. It's going to disappear the same. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't very strong, Mr. Direction. I thought if I look back, you look back. But you saw me do that, so. <laughs> no, come on. I know it's probably easy to you. Come on. No, that did look good, actually. This is a tough one with everybody. Even watching. though I know how it's done, it, he's still doing it very well. I'm watching every Two second. The third one, I will blow on it. It will vanish right before your very His hands not moving. His arms not moving. His jacket's not moving. I bet you're wondering where the balls are. Your name, sir. Stand up, please. Shut up. Put your hand in your hip pocket, your jean pocket, your right hand. Take out the balls. Are they in there? Uh, no. Of course I'm not, you silly Wally. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. They're footballs as well, by the looks of it. What 
watch the dance of the little balls. Ball one goes here, or three goes there. Two goes here, or one goes here. Darren, right? Is it Darren? Did I hear it right? Point to a cup, Darren. Your choice. They're all the same, especially this one over there. That's a nice one. Yeah. Which one do you want, Darren? Uh, this one. Which one, Darren? It's A, B, C. Pick A cup, Darren. A. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He thinks I influenced his choice by going pick a cup. No, I didn't influence your choice, did I? No. You could have had any cup, but I take the ball from here like this. Do you see it go? I'm drunk. <laughs> take it from here, you see? Thank you. Two on the bottom, one on top. That's my favorite position. <laughs> Is this the way it's going to be? <laughs> There's too many balls to begin with, so what I'm going to do is eliminate a few. It makes the game a little bit easier to follow. So we have one ball there, one ball there. Dan, would you mind standing for me, please? Don't be embarrassed about your shirt. <laughs> okay. Darren, how many balls are being used throughout? Three. Three, yeah. Okay, so how many balls are underneath the middle cup? One. One, okay. So if I eliminate this one from the game, how many balls will it leave left in the game? Two. Correct. But if I eliminate this one from the game, how many balls will it left in the game? One. And where is it? In the middle, there you are. I put this one away, but how come, Darren, this one's back so quick? Well, I'll tell you, Darren, because what I do is slide a hand. I don't take the ball and put it here. I just manipulate it in such a way that you think it's going away, but I keep it palmed, yeah? Okay. There's no ball here, but when I lift up the cup, what happens? I drop the ball from I'm the back confused. of the cup, create the illusion that it come from the cup, you stupid audience. <laughs> No, that's the art of him. It's confusion. Mm. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> now you see the ball going in. Tap it up three times, yeah? This one's back, which leaves how many balls there, Darren? Uh, one. If you can't, not sure, take a guess, Darren. One. Two. Three. <laughs> three balls going at the same time, Darren. Ready? At the yeah. same time. How many here, Darren? None. Short? <laughs> Orange. Uh, come on, no. come on. <laughs> no. I'll take this trip one step further. Ready, Darren? I think so. Darren, this is a hat, a hat, right? An ordinary hat. I cover up the ball, and the ball is going to vanish. How many balls under the hat, Darren? One. Right, ready? Watch it disappear. It's vanished. How many balls under the hat, Darren? Um, one? No, it vanished, remember? Oh, another. Yeah. It's my fault I picked you. <laughs> <laughs> How many balls, Darren? None. None? <clears throat> you don't believe it, though, do you? Oh, I'll bring it back then. <laughs> Ready, Darren? Yeah. How many balls? One. Yeah? How many now? None. <laughs> How many? None. Three. <laughs> you see, you thought I took the balls out, but I told you to watch the oldest trick in the world. Remember that. To get one. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> no! No! So. Just... How? Come oh, look, on. He's even got the flag in the inside. So, what did you think of him? I liked him. I kept seeing his hand to me was a bit like that. And mm -hmm. I kept watching his hand. I was watching it, everything so intently. Come on. Do you think you know, you know how he got them those fruit under the cups? No. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, do you think he's fall? Did he fool you? Yeah. Uh, what was it? A lot of the tricks he fooled you. Was it one in particular way where you're like that was better than the rest? Probably the fruit from the balls to fruit. The big one or the... All, all of them. All of them. Because I was I think, watching yeah. everything. Yeah, I think at one point when so much fruit was coming out, your brain just goes, Yeah, I was watching oh. the left hand, the right hand, his hat. Yeah. And do you think Penn and Teller are fooled? Yeah. I don't think they are. Let's have a look. Look at this guy. Yeah. 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 Ye
I'm all seeing people do what they call, I believe, the cup and balls. Is that what they call it? Cup and balls. Yeah. Cup and balls. And most of us have seen it. We've seen people do it at parties, at kids' parties, that kind of thing, or sometimes swingers' parties. But that was just about, I think, the best I've ever seen. Would you not agree, ladies and gentlemen? It's a good routine. It's a really good, yeah, 100 clap. He's likeable as well. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for letting us be on your show. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Have they been fooled by anybody? Yes, they have, yeah. Literally yeah. the oldest trick in magic done perfectly. That's what you just thought. Okay, okay. What's the answer? That is a lot of fruit to produce at the end. Remember, <laughs> in all art and all performance, it is the singer, not the song. And you're the best singer we've ever seen. Thank you very Just much. Just the greatest. Yeah, greatest. I can feel a big hairy butt coming up. Yeah. But... <laughs> By the absolute rules of this show, you did not fool us because we do the trick, but you did it better than us. What more can we ask? Wow. Thank you. Right, you it's good. So what would you say, Gazzo, marks out of 10? 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest. Hey, for me. Eight out of ten yeah. for Gazzo. I thought he was very good as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll be notified of our latest videos.